the Modern Warfare Car 98K versus the Swiss K31. As someone who's used sniping as the foundation of their content, this is probably my most asked question, which is better? So why not make a video giving you a detailed comparison between the two snipers, which are commonly referred to as the best snipers in Warzone? I'll be comparing them both statistically, as long with a few hidden stats you might not know about, and also just providing you with my opinion between the two snipers. I'll be getting my stats from truegamedata.com, and I'll be mostly comparing what I consider to be the meta builds for each sniper. And let me quickly explain as why I choose the setups that I do. In my opinion, the two most important stats are bullet velocity and aim down sight speed for a sniper. So I always build my snipers to have the max bullet velocity, but also the fastest aim down sight speed, but keeping the max pool velocity. I will also show some other options though that have faster aim down sight speeds, but sacrifice some bullet velocity. So for the CAR-98, the two attachments that we need to get the fastest bullet velocity is gonna be the monolithic suppressor and the 27.6 inch barrel. Of course, we need our sniper scope. And then the two attachments that give us the fastest reduction in aim down sight speed is gonna be the TAC laser in the FTAC Sport Comb stock. Now a quick FYI is that the stippled grip tape does help with aim down sight speed, but not quite as much as the stock. However, it does help with sprint to fire time, meaning if you're sprinting and you go to aim down sight, it'll get the gun out a little bit quicker with the stippled grip tape. Now some other common variations that you'll see with the car is people will either switch the stock for the precision stock, which helps quite a bit with aiming stability, meaning you have basically no sway and you don't even need to hold your breath. but your aim down sight speed is slower because of this. Some other things you'll see is people will take off the suppressor altogether and then they'll put on like this stippled grip tape or they'll put on something like sleight of hand for better reload or the focus perk for decreased flinch when you're getting shot at. Also, you'll see people switch the barrel. Instead of going with the biggest one, they'll go for a smaller one, commonly the 25. So you're basically sacrificing just a little bit of bullet velocity, but for a faster aim down sight speed. Now, one other thing I'll mention about the car while I'm here is that the car being an MW uh, rifle, you can actually go in and customize your reticles. Now, personally, I use the cross red, which is nearly identical to the Swiss's reticle. However, the Swiss, you are unable to customize this. Some other great options that a lot of people like are the cover shot, and then if you do happen to have the blue dot, that is a nice one as well. Now for the Swiss build, in order to have the fastest bullet velocity, you need the Gru Suppressor and the Combat Recon. And then to have the fastest aim down sight speed, the two attachments for that are gonna be the SWAT 5 milliwatt laser and the Serpent Wrap. Now the fifth attachment is a bit of a wild card. Personally, I go with the Bruiser Grip because this helps both aiming stability, meaning less sway and you don't really need to hold your breath that much. And it also helps a little bit with our movement speed. Some other good options though are for the magazine, you could go with either the seven round or the fast mag. Neither of these hurt our aim down sight speed, so either are fine, it's kind of personal preference, but all of the last four, they do hurt your aim down sight speed, so I don't recommend going with any of those four. And then finally, you could go with the SAS combat stock. The reason for this is when you're zoomed in and scoped in, you can like peek around a corner, shoot, and then get back to cover very quickly. You could also go no stock or raider stock, and this does help with sprint to fire time as well though. Now let's talk about the sound moderator versus the Gru suppressor. So the sound moderator does have a faster aim down sight speed, but sacrifices some bullet velocity. Now, if we compare the meta sound moderator build versus my meta car build, you'll see that the car has a faster aim down sight speed and faster bullet velocity. So in my opinion, I don't recommend this setup. And if you want the faster aim down sight speed, just go with the car 98. Now I will mention quickly with the barrel, a lot of people will say, well, why don't you use the Tiger team? The Tiger team does actually help your fire rate just slightly by 10%, I believe it is. However, it doesn't help your bullet velocity nearly as much as the combat recon. And yes, yeah, so people say, well, what about effective damage range? The range is unlimited on a sniper. Range doesn't matter for sniping in Warzone, I promise. And then lastly, something I will mention about the Serpent Wrap is you could also choose to go with the Airborne Elastic Wrap. Now, if you combine this with the Bruiser, you will have basically no sway, meaning you basically don't even need to hold your breath, even at long range. Um, this also is supposed to help your flinch resistance slightly, and I think it does, but not that much of a difference. Um, however, you will sacrifice just a little bit of aim down sight speed compared to the Serpent. So now let's just compare the two meta builds of each sniper. The big pro of the CAR-98 is that you're gonna have a faster aim down sight speed with only a slightly slower bullet velocity compared to the Swiss. However, a big pro of the Swiss is that the Swiss has a 
or zoom than the car sniper scope, meaning the longer shots are a lot easier to hit and line up with the Swiss. Now you could use the variable zoom or dual zoom on the car 98 and the zoom levels of those two are very comparable. However, for me personally, I've always found the dual zoom awkward with the car and I've just never personally liked it. However, that might just be a me thing and you might be perfectly fine with it. Now let's talk about damage and this ends up being a very important stat and a big win for the Swiss. A chest shot plus a stomach shot for the Swiss will down an opponent. However, for the car, it will not. The car has a lot less stomach damage so you might break armor with the chest shot with the car. However, if you follow up and hit a little bit lower on the stomach, it will not down them and you're just gonna get a hit marker. And trust me, that's extremely annoying when that happens. However, if you're just hitting headshots, it doesn't matter. Some other stats to consider are fire rate, movement speed, and reload time. Now both fire rate and movement speed are pretty similar between the two. However, the Swiss does have a pretty big upper hand when it comes to reload time. And a lot of that has to do with the R98 being a bolt action rifle that you have to load in each bullet individually and it takes a lot longer to do that compared to just putting in one big mag at once with the swiss now a small thing i will say because i know somebody's going to comment it is yes if you change the sniper scope and you put it to a different scope such as like the i think it's the cronin opt cronin optic i think it is that one you will put a whole clip of bullets on at once and your reload time is faster that way now there is one more big thing to consider and that's what input you play on whether you play on a controller or a mouse and keyboard reason for that is the car 98 actually has more aim assist on a controller than it does with the swiss the reason for that from what i'm told is that because the car 98 is technically a marksman rifle not a sniper the values for how the game registers aim assist is different and stronger with marksmen's now some people will actually say they dislike this and they want less aim assist so that they can just line up the shot However, you will see most controller pros, a lot of the really sweaty controller players that snipe, they almost always lean towards the car 98. But from a mouse and keyboard player like myself, I will say I feel much more consistent with the Swiss over the car. It's one of those things that's kind of hard to describe. I think a lot of it has to do with the zoom level, but the scope just feels much more natural for me compared to the car. However, I definitely am able to hit a lot more quick scopes and aggressive style snipes with the car, and I feel much more comfortable at close to mid range with the car than I do with the Swiss. But for the long snipes, especially sniping people out of the air on rebirth, or when someone's on uh, coming out of cover and only a little part of their head is exposed, I feel much better with the Swiss. So if you're an aggressive player and you like to run around and use your sniper up in like close to mid range fights, go with the car. But if you plan to use your sniper as intended, probably the Swiss is going to be better for you because it's a lot easier to use at range. Another thing I want to mention is bullet drop. And a lot of people keep saying that the Swiss has more bullet drop in the car, but it's the opposite actually. And the reason I know this is there's a website called sim.gg. Basically what it is, is they uh, they use actually data mined data where they go into the game files and they that's how they get their stats. And according to them, the Swiss actually has a less bullet drop than the car, although it is extremely minuscule. You can basically think of it as they have the exact same bullet drop. Now, one last example I'll provide you with is that when I'm just playing Rebirth with my friends and I'm just trying to hit some crazy clips, I usually rock the car 98. But I recently played in a custom Rebirth tournament and I did choose the Swiss. And a big part of that was we were playing not super aggressive. We were Kind of camping i'm not gonna lie and we were and i was really trying to get snipes out of the air and for me it's much easier to do that with the swiss compared to the car so in summary i'm gonna put a graphic on the screen that shows each of the different categories and which sniper wins in each category let me know if you feel like i missed anything and let me know are you team swiss or are you team car or team something completely else otherwise thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one